Step one is open the switches. I didn't have a switch opener with me, so I used this pair of tweezers to gently pry the tabs up on each side of every switch. If you apply too much force, it can break the tabs. You'll have to almost walk the top housing off of the bottom by alternating which side you are prying open. Eventually, it will pop open and you'll be able to separate the spring, stem, and housings from each other. Step two is applying lubricant to the housing. Because these are linear switches, we can lube everything facing and including the stem in the bottom housing. You want to apply a thin coat on each surface. Don't overthink things. Just make sure that there is a sheen and no globs or runs. Step three is to apply the lube to the stem. Again, these are linear switches, so just apply a thin coat on each surface, same as before. As I coat the stems, I will place the springs in the housings, and then each stem on the spring, making sure that the legs are facing the contact leaves. Step four is to assemble the switches. I am using a kit from KBD Fans that comprises of a tool to hold the stems, a lube station, some brushes, and the tweezers from the beginning part of the video. It was pretty cheap and I will throw a link down in the bottom to the tools that I used. I definitely suggest using a switch opener as my fingers did sting a little by the end of it. Step five is to assemble the board. If you have a hot swappable board like this Everest Max, you'll be able to pull the old switches out and snap the new ones in fairly easy. I left six of the switches without lube so we can hear the difference. I decided to use a set of HyperX pudding keycaps that are double shot PBT. They feel great and they look even better. If you guys like this video, please throw me a thumbs up, comment down below your favorite part, and subscribe for more.